Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get your website set up using BlueVoto. So after you've downloaded BlueVoto, the first thing you're going to do is click on open a new blank page. And this is the inside of BlueVoto. So just to go over some basic tools that you're going to be using, along the top, under File, this is where you're going to save your page, save your page as, and publish your page. Under the Insert tab, this is where you're going to insert all the different objects, a text box, images, shapes, forms, navigation bars, and PayPal buttons. Under Tools, this is where you would publish your sitemap and access your FTP manager, which I'll show you how to do in a later video. Also under Help, you can get video tutorials, go to the community forum, customer support and access your control panel which I also show you in a later video so you have all the toolbars along the top here if you're missing any you can right click and access any of those that way and you have all the tools along the side here a lot of the same tools can be accessed in three areas it's all user preference so another common one is the preview tab here this is going to allow you to preview your website as you're building it in the browser window. So that's a pretty common one. So now let's uh, get our site set up. First thing we're going to do is right click and go to page properties. And this is all the properties for our page. So under title, this would be your domain. Then you'd also have a call to action and your main keyword. For the page width we're going to leave at 800. Page height I'm going to change that to 4000 just to give myself some room to work with. File extension I'm going to change to PHP. Under favorites icon this is where you can upload an icon that's going to show up in the browser window tab. For example under YouTube here they have the YouTube icon. That's where your favorites icon would go and you can upload that here. Under center page, I'm going to set that to center in this page browser window horizontally. Okay, under formatting, this is where we're going to set up all the background information. So for the background, I'm going to set to black you can also set up a gradient where it blends from black to gray if you have an image that you want to use you can upload that here under the links I'm gonna leave that alone meta tags now this is gonna be either your name or domain name under keywords this is important under your meta tags keywords you wanna have five to ten keywords that describe your niche or theme of your site right here separated by a comma so if it's about weight loss you would have uh, weight loss diets etc under your page description this is going to be the description that shows up in the organic listings of the search engine that people see so if someone searches weight loss and your site gets listed on Google for example the description would be what they would read so you want to have your keyword your main keyword in the page description under your meta tags keywords and under your general title you want to have your main keyword there too so in three locations to make your site Google friendly or search engine friendly so you get more traffic all right, and then under scroll bars, I usually leave this alone. You can change the colors of the scroll bars if you want. Page transition, I usually leave this to no effect, but you can have it fade in or fade out, you know, and do some really cool stuff there. Uh, miscellaneous, I don't usually mess with any of that. So that's pretty much it for our page properties. We're going to hit OK, and there we go. So now what we want to do is go to File, Save Page As. And we want to file. We want to name a file called your website, 
I've already created one and we want to create this file and we want to call it index and this is going to be our home page so we name this index for our home page any other pages we would call about us or contact us page we would call them contact us or about us page okay I also have a folder under our main folder called images and that's where we're going to store all our images that we're going to use on our site you want to put in the images folder so we call that index and click save and there we go we got all the main properties set up for our page we got our background created in the next video I'm gonna walk you through how to insert navigation bars pictures videos and how to get the main outline of the site created so I'll see you in the next video.